Hi guys, uh, it's Hilton Holder here from Digiden. Uh, thanks for watching this little video. It's really just to introduce you to our latest model uh, of Dermatoscope or digital Dermatoscope. Now most of our, pretty much all of our units are designed for the telehealth professional, particularly. Um, even though they do compare fairly well with large $20,000 plus systems, uh, and you can use them in your practice. They are guaranteed and designed to cope with the kind of throughput you have there. Um, but primarily, we're focusing on, on the telehealth professionals. And so far as that, all our devices are mobile, they're portable, they're cross-platform to a large extent. And they provide the kind of quality and the flexibility to diagnose not only uh, skin problems, but uh, for example, this particular model that we got here can also do iridology and uh, microcirculation analysis with a nail fold method and hair and scalp and um, it's also got a, a one times magnification lens which is great because you can use it as a webcam simply by swapping lenses as well as a document camera so it's very important for the telehealth professional to have this functionality he doesn't want to swap between cameras this is a very technical process you've got to go into the software and select a different camera and sometimes the interrupt request clashes and the kind of hitches that we're trying to remove from the whole telefield or telehealth scope uh, to make it as easy as making a phone call. So this is the little unit here as you can see it's got a this is the patented polarized lens and it's got a 14 millimeter field of vision there uh, similar to your Heino in your 3G the metascopes. Um, it's got LEDs inside obviously designed to create incident lighting and it's got a polarized or cross polarizing filter inside and you can switch between the polarized and the normal simply by just using the dial here. It's USB powered, it comes with a long USB cable so you can reach everywhere with ease and it simply just plugs into an open USB 2 port and away you go. Now what I'm going to do now is uh, show you a little spot I've got here in my stomach. It's about a two millimeter little nevi. I don't know exactly you guys would know what it is, but it will be able to show you the subcutaneous detail and the normal lens on that particular spot. Um, so I'm just going to swap to the other video now. Well, this is the software here. Uh, you can see it's the Digitum Pro 3. Now to take the picture, you simply click on whatever spot you want to actually reserve for the picture. You would freeze the image and click enter and that would bring up that image there. You can take the images before here and after there. Well, it's not essential but that's if you want to do image comparison which the software allows as well. And after you've taken the pictures you can just fill in your client or your patient's uh, ID, probably a, a date of birth, his name, his address and telephone number and click save. And this is a full-fledged database so you can be able to search for patients afterwards find all the pictures, add to their pictures, compare pictures, etc. It also has the ability to view capillaries, underlying capillaries. And if you have the acne lens, you can click on this little button too and it will highlight the acne for you, uh, the features that are relevant to people analyzing this. And you can record video as well if you want. Um, so what I'm going to do is just start off by showing you uh, and moving over my stubble, you can see I haven't shaved since this morning. And for me just to go to the polarized view, I simply just click the dial and you can immediately see the difference uh, insofar as that it actually gives you the subcutaneous detail all of a sudden. And you've got access to the capillaries, etc. etc. Now the same goes obviously for any moles on eBay. And so I've got the spot on my Tell me that I told you about, it's about a two millimeter little spot. And you can straight away see the detail there on the pigmentation network. And if I switch to normal, that is what the little spot looks like. Uh, you can also adjust, as I said, the brightness, the contrast, the hue to get the colors just right for yourself. Uh, because colors are very important uh, in the diagnosis of, of skin cancer. Um, so that is one spot there that shows up fairly well, just exactly what the polarized lens does for you. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take a picture of this one. I'm just going to freeze it and hit enter. 
and I'm going to select that one and just please and enter. Uh, let me try another look spot. You can see there it is, and there is the normal lens. So I'm going to please enter. And I'm going to switch to polarized on that one. Click on the freeze, enter. And let me just show you on hair. That's just a picture of some hair there. Please enter. And once again, when I switch to normal, it will be like that. And once I've done all that, I can then just go and enter in the ID, one, two, three. Uh, put in a name, uh, John, address and phone number, and save this. Ah, I'll make it one, two, three, four, five. Save. Mm, I've got that one already as well. Four, five, save. Ah, and I'll save that successfully. So that's how simple and quick it is. To actually take images with this. Now you can obviously go and click on one to zoom in on it, right click on it to save it as, um, or you can click on 3D which will bring up uh, a sort of inverted view of the image. Uh, I'm just going to take that off. So yeah you can save it as to be able to take it to your own uh, database if that is ever required. Uh, you can give it a name, save it straight into the folder of your own picture. Uh, I forgot to show you um, the capillaries view of this. So if I hit capillary, you can see what it does. It starts giving you the underlying capillaries. And once again, you can set the contrast and brightness of this to bring up the capillaries for you. So I believe this is also very important for you guys to see whether a Nevi or uh, malevolent cancer is being fed by the capillaries. Um, and I'm just going to switch back to the normal lens again. Uh, so that's a very short detail. Oh yeah, I want to show you image comparison. Like you can select any picture and another picture and compare the two and you'll see years between the polarized and the non-polarized. Obviously you can just zoom in. I click on that, clicking back on it again, and the same here. Uh, you can zoom just by clicking on the middle of it. And you can see that is the pigment detail in quite detail there in the previous. And the previous. So this is the Digidome Pro software where you can uh, create a patient database and view these images and save them. Uh, thank you.